Welcome to Bogota, Colombia. We're here chasing after the most dangerous drug in the world, Burundanga. Burundanga is the source of scopolamine, which is basically like the worst roofie you can ever imagine times a million. You're at the whim of suggestions like, hey, take me to your ATM. Hey, come with me to the hotel room while you're completely conscious and articulate. Apparently there's a lot of different parts of the plant that are a bit dangerous, possibly a bit fun, depending on what you're into. So we're gonna be looking for the tree, talking to people who've had experience with it, and seeing if we can find some of the actual drug ourselves. So the deal with Burundanga is that it pretty much eliminates your free will. So you're awake and you're articulate and to anyone else watching you, it seems like you're perfectly fine, but you've completely lost control of your own actions. So you're at the whim of suggestions and that's how people take advantage of you. I've heard a bunch of different stories really running the gamut. Some of them sound like kind of campfire horror stories you're told when you're growing up, stuff like waking up in a bathtub with an organ cut out and a sign saying you have five hours to get to the hospital. Uh, we've of course also heard that it's used as a date rape drug. Um, we heard one particularly chilling story where a guy was taken back to his apartment, woke up the next morning in the empty apartment, completely confused as to what happened, went down and said to his doorman, you know, why is my apartment empty? What happened? And the doorman said, well, you brought it out with two of your friends last night, all your stuff, you loaded it into a van. And the guy was like, why in the hell would you let me do that? And he was like, because you told me to. So that, that's kind of the stuff we're dealing with here. Uh, complete elimination of free will um, while still acting, which is pretty much the scariest shit I can imagine. <laughs> La escopola es una droga como ninguna, no tiene, no tiene sin igual, ¿sí me entiendes? O sea, tú coges con un sopido así, por ejemplo, tú estás, tú estás aquí caminando y de repente... O sea, tú vas, vas de espalda o vamos a una pinta caminando acá y yo me le paso por un lado aquí. Le hago así nomás con eso, nomás con ese destello. El man ya queda burundangueado. Tú esperas cuando ya tú ves el efecto es que el man empieza como a, como a medio tal, entonces ya tú, lo, ya tú eres dueño total del man. Entonces tú lo coges, lo encanas y tú te lo llevas para donde tú quieras, parece un niño. Y tú te llevas, lo, llévame a tu casa, eh, saca tu chequera, dame tus cuentas de ahorros, tu número de ta, 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 tu tarjeta y tal. Y así, si te pasas de dosis, corre peligro de, de que la persona se muera. Colombia es basically fucked. They have the longest running guerrilla war in all of Latin America. They've essentially been at civil war for 60 years, and really, if you think about it, they've never not been at war since they gained their own independence. Other fun facts about Colombia, definitely not from the Board of Tourism, include the fact that one in every three kidnappings in the world happen right here in Colombia. And as we all know, it's the cocaine capital of the universe. Un gramo de escopola es como un gramo de perico, la misma, la misma maricada porque tiene la misma densidad en peso y en presentación, si ¿sí me entiendes cómo es, pero tú con un grabo puedes matar hasta 10, 15 personas, matar. Por eso es tan extremadamente delicado y no se consigue y, y la información, por ejemplo, que yo sí sé dónde se consigue porque yo sí sé, hijo puta, si ¿sí me entiendes dónde se consigue todo. Now, the borrachero tree, which by the way, roughly translates to drunken binge tree, is indigenous to the northern Andean region. That includes Colombia and Ecuador, Venezuela. But the scopolamine is really only used by the criminal element here in Colombia. Que por aquí hay, por aquí tiene que haber una, yo miro si de pronto pillamos una. ¿No dice que ahí al lado de César hay una? Si ¿Sí dice al lado de César hay un árbol, ahí, aquí dice silvestre. 
So despite the insane homicide rates, the kidnapping, the narco trafficking, the civil unrest, and everything else going on in here in Colombia, we can't seem to find a Colombian who's more scared of anything than falling asleep under the Boro Chero tree.